So you don't have the text. No. And you said, if I don't get satisfaction, according to you, which you don't have because you bought a new phone, you said, I'm going to take you to small claims court. And you filed a small claims case on what date? The small claims was filed on October 31st. On what date were you served with the small claims case? I was served that Monday, I believe. By whom? His mother. Where? She came behind the bar while I was at work. And at that time, you were both still working at the same restaurant? That is correct. Were you working the same shift? No. What shift were you working? I was working my afternoon shift, so I was working the uh, 4.30 to close shift. And what shift were you working, sir? I did not work that day, uh, the 31st. What shift did you usually work? I worked the same shifts as, as Josh. Typically. So then you were both working the same shift, except for the day you was allegedly served with a small claims case. Yeah. Just answer my questions. Yes, Your Honor. OK, now I would like to see the small claims case. Yes, Your Honor. I see two small claims cases. Yes, I amended the order to include the lost wages um, after he filed a restraining order to keep me from work. Just a second. But you left things out when you filed an amended complaint. First claim you asked for, not that I'm getting involved in it, prorated rent, a loan, and your possessions, Mm -hmm. and your deposit. The second case you filed was deposit, rent, and lost wages. So I assume that you got your loan back and your possessions back. No, no, I didn't. I've not gotten my So you just back. made a mistake. Yeah, I just amended Just a orders. mistake. All right. Now, the whole thrust of this case, the only part that I will hear. Yes, ma'am. So that's nonsense. Is that at some point you filed a protective order against him. That is correct. On what date? I filed a protection order the day after I received the uh, small claims court, basically in response. Shh. Yeah. Don't speak. You filed it the day after. That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. And I would like to see the date that you filed it and the allegations that you make. Okay. I, I have the petition and I also have the uh, temporary order. If you let's like see those. the petition. Now I would like you, sir, to explain to me the reason that you filed this protective order a day after you were served with a small claims case. So the incident that occurred at my house, as it states in the petition, uh, he was sexually harassing a house guest upon being asked to stop. He berated her using... Who cares? Okay. I kicked him out. Who cares? I kicked him out. I didn't feel the need to call the police because he was intoxicated. I wanted the matter to end there. He made it clear that he was not going to end the matter No, there. don't just say, don't tell me what he made clear. Yes, he was ma'am. bothering somebody at your party. Mm-hmm. That person didn't file a protective order against him. You did. And I want you to tell me mm-hmm. what he did that inspired you after you were served with a small claim case to file a protective order. He made it clear that... No, this- not clear. That is an assumption, sir, based upon facts, which you are going to tell me. And the facts had better be consistent with what you wrote in your answer, which you probably don't remember. In my petition order? No, in my case. Okay. In my case. So I want you to tell me specifically Mm -hmm. what Mr. Sylvester said or did to you that inspired you to file for a protective order the day after you were served with a small claims case. The day after I was served with a small claims case, it was in my belief that he was going to continue to harass me while I was at work, and therefore I filed the protection order. I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. You abused the system. 